Fred Pure Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 74th Venice International Film Festival. I'm in company of Andrew I, director of Lean on Pete. Welcome. Thank you. It's very good to be here. So first of all, let's start by what I've been discussing with your actors. And since I heard in the press conference that you were talking about the film not really being a coming of age. So uh, why is that? Why? Because I don't really agree at all, and they were, were kind of, were not certain about that as well. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a certain growth. I mean, I say. think, I think it, it, it. I mean, anything about a kid is going to be about coming of age, and he does kind of understand things about himself. But I think nowadays, coming of age is a is actually in reality a very long process. You don't come of age in three months. You maybe do in the movies, but you don't in real life. Coming of age takes years. Um, and what coming of age really means is just really understanding who you are. That's what coming of age actually, to me, means anyway. Yes. So I think certainly there's elements of coming of age in the story, but I think it's more about something more like fundamental to Charlie. It's something like closer to his basic needs, which is finding some kind of security and love. Yeah, but that's something uh, I have to agree with you in that because uh, I found during the whole film he, there's this, let's say, very adult contradiction because mm. he needs people help, but at the same time he doesn't want it. When mm. he get he has the chance to, you know, try and rely on somebody, somebody's help, he he goes away, he, he runs away. So that's very, you know, adults we're we're like this, you know. Children yeah, I think for help. I think that's true. I think he's also scared of that help. I think he's been he's been hurt a lot in his life and things have not been easy for him. So he's afraid of accepting that help, but also maybe realizing that it's probably not the right kind of help. In the end he has a goal to find his aunt and that is what he has to do so he could stay in the desert with those guys but it's not going to give him the stability he needs uh, i felt it like it's he wasn't coming of age until uh, the end where he sort of start again i mean he, he becomes a, a child again and then he can start thinking about the nightmares that will go away that's exactly, that's exactly what I feel. I feel like in that final section of the film, it suddenly allows him to become of age. And in reality, his coming of age will be directly after this film, and it will be how he responds to all of the things that have happened in his life. I think how he responds to all those things will be his coming of age. I haven't read the novel, but there's something I can tell about your films, is that you know, it's very difficult, at least for me, from my point of view, to close mm. a film, you know? And there's something that you never fail to do. So how do you do it? I mean, how do you structure it? There's something that you think from the beginning, you have to know where to end and where exactly to put uh, a full stop to the whole process. Yes, absolutely. I feel I understand. I, it's very important to me how a film ends. I want you as an audience to leave the cinema thinking about what you've seen rather than it all be closed. And I think, you know, for me, you want it to be a satisfying ending, but not answer all of the questions that have been mm. raised. So I think that's very important to me. I don't want to make a film that becomes completely cleaned up by the end. Is that difficult for you or something that you're already... Um, I, I think it's about finding a balance and working out what that is and working out what you want to answer. And it, it, to me, it's all about an emotional thing. I think sometimes it's hard to articulate what something might mean. Um, I just know if I feel it. And that's what I go for at the endings of my film, is a feeling more than an intellectual understanding. Charlie told me that uh, in the novel, there's more of an interior dialogue and then he sort of portrayed this part while working on his relationship with the horse. Can you tell me more? Yeah, I mean, uh, th there is definitely more of that in the in the novel. Mm -hmm. You know, the novel covers a bigger period of time, and you know, there's more things happen, so it's it's tricky. And you know, obviously, we don't have voiceover in these films, so you have to try and find ways to reflect the actors in our life. And sometimes he talks to the horse, and the rest of it is in the tone for me of the film. And Charlie's, I think, pretty incredible performance. Let's go backwards and I'll ask you, in the ending, I'll ask you a question that normally I ask in the beginning. Why, uh, why this film? Why a coming of age? Or, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
it's it's very hard for me to know exactly why I want to make a film. Mm-hmm. You know, I just I read something or I think about something or I think of a story, and I just know that I feel like that's the right thing to do. And you can never be sure. You know, you just have to trust your 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 gut and your heart and think this is the film I want to make, and I'm interested enough to spend four years of my life <laughs> trying to make it, and then show it to people. Thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you very Good much. Good luck with Lino and Pete Thank you in very competition much. here at Venezia 74. Yeah. Thank you very much. And this is Chiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Insider.